Hi everyone, welcome back to How Tofu Boyfriend. We are starting the second term. It is currently 9.01 in the morning. I know the thing in the top left hand corner is now. Yay! It was bothering me so much. Huh? Is that a student ID? Whose is it? Someone from 2-2. Not a name I recognize. Should I go find their classroom? They might have already gone home though. Anyway. Well, any teacher will do, right? Wait. Gone home? It's only 9.01. Sir! Sir! Oh! Hello, N. Did you forget to turn in your homework? I found someone's ID, sir. It's someone from 2-2. I thought I should take it here. Oh, thank you, N. I take care of it. Oh. What is it? Nothing. Just... You did find this today, right, Motion? Yes, in the corridor, just outside. The student has been absent since middle of June. How strange. So then the car was just lying there all summer and nobody noticed it? It's awfully clean, though. Shouldn't it be at least dusty? Anyway, I'll take care of it. Thank you, Motion. Today is an elective day. What should I do? Attend. Math class, still. Some boring nerd. I had hoped for something a little bit more interesting than an elective. But this is dull. I can just barely keep up even though Mr. Nanaki explains everything so clearly. So this is all easy for you, Sakuya? Wow! Are you trying to curry favor me? <laughs> what? He looks happy though. What is curry favor? Do I get to eat you? I should save the game. And leveled up. Wisdom increased by 5. Good more. What the heck is going on? The classroom is filled with cloud of dancing feathers. Does someone evascorate a down pillow or something? Ryuta, what? Maybe they, didn't clean, maybe they didn't clean up properly yesterday? It's multi-season, so one little reason it looks like this unless we make sure everything keeps clean. Now that I look closely, Ruta's head feathers are looking a little loose too. I guess every birdie growing themselves new outfits. Good morning, everybody. Sir, can we clean up a little before homeroom cleaning in the morning? The atmosphere is quite distracting. Who was supposed to clean yesterday? You. Goo! Oko-san. Wretched mongrel. Can't, even fulfill, can't you even fulfill the duty given to you? Come on, arguing won't solve anything. It will be easy if we all pitch in. And so we swab the room before homeroom. This is a lot of feathers. Not enough for a futon, but I bet we couldn't make a nice pillow. It certainly is more than usual. Did they come in the window, perhaps? Huh? Um, Thur, did you spill chlorine on yourself? Chlorine? We don't use that kind of detergent. Um, but you really smell like it. Oh, that would be bleach. Bleach? Sir, are you one of those degenerates who bathe in bleach powder? No, no, I dozed off and got stuck in the washing machine last night. That's all. That, that's dangerous. Sir, please be careful. Mm, yes, I'll... Guess there wasn't any way he was going to stay awake after helping us clean the room. What a nice, relaxing class where the teacher just passes out. Today is a school festival. Our class decided to do a maid cafe. I'm not scheduled to work until tomorrow, so I have a day off. I don't have anything to do, so I guess I'll look around. Hmm. So many things to do, I can't choose. Hmm. Oh, motion. Mr. Nanaki, what is it? Your shift is tomorrow, right? Yep. Would you maybe help at the reception desk? We're getting a lot more people than expected. Of course. I shall mete out information and directions like an oni of old cleaver in hand. Seated atop a throne, rot from the skulls of my foes. Thank you. I'll go get a chair. Okay. That was weird. Ah. It looks like the crowd is thinning out a little. That was tiring. Ah. Are you okay, sir? I'm fine. It's just a little... T <sighs> At least he held up pretty well until now. It's almost time to clear up and prepare classes for tomorrow. And so I spent the last hours of festival nervously watching Mr. Nanaki sleep. Sipping even lower in his chair. I handed, my, I handed in my recorder instead of my math homework. What do I do? Is Mr. Nanaki in the staff room? Excuse me. Huh? Mr. Nanaki and Dr. Iwa Mine. I hadn't expected to see them together. And you see nothing particular about these numbers? Nothing at all. There is a little 
statistical deviation visible in the data in the students from the past few years. I'd hope to get some insight from you, but it would seem that I have overestimated you. Really? I'm sorry I couldn't help then. Ow! Sure. That's not very nice, doctor. What do you want? Hello, Motion. What is it? Um, sir, I gave you my recorder earlier instead of my homework, so you did. Here you go. Here's the workbook. Thank you, sir. Sorry, sir. Like teacher, like pupil. You dick doctor. Ah, the day was good. The true real life. I think I'll go home and spend some fulfilling time before going to bed. In. Hi, Ryuta. You know where Mr. Nanaki lives, right? Yes. Why do you ask? He left his phone in the staff room. He's already left, but you know how slowly he moves. If you hurry, you could catch up to him before he gets home. I could take it to him, but I need to run some errands for my mother before I go home. So I was wondering if you maybe could... Sure, I'm not doing anything. Thank you. Mr. Nanaki's phone. Now that I think about it, I don't know anything about his personal life. Was he always as spacey as he is at school? Maybe he sends 97? Maybe he spins 97? What does that mean? Oh, percent of his time at home asleep. I guess question marks means it doesn't read it. Hmm? A piece of paper fell out of his phone case. What is this? Exclamation point! It's a photo. A photo of a bird. But I can't see the face at all. Someone scribbled all over it. Did Mr. Nanaki do this? It doesn't seem like him at all. I'll just put it back in the case. Maybe I should pretend I didn't, should pretend I didn't see it? Sir! Oh, hello, Motion. Where are you going? You look like you're in a hurry. Sir, you forgot your cell phone. <gasps> so I did. Thank you for coming after me with it, Motion. That was very nice of you. No problem at all, sir. Um... Hmm? Was there something else? What should I do? Ask about the photo. Be nosy. Sir, I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to look inside. But something fell out. Fell out? Um, the picture. I... Ah, yes, that. Don't worry about it. After all, that's not something you need to worry about, right? But I'm curious. It was almost completely marked out. Yes. Because I marked it out. Dun dun dun. He did? I never would have believed it from someone else, but since it's him saying so... Well, see you tomorrow. Ominous music. And so he left with a farewell as carefree as if we'd been talking about the weather. He has a side I've never seen, doesn't he? He's your teacher! You shouldn't see all sides of him. You should, you should only see him as your teacher. Ah, it's that time of the year when the chill outside gradually breaks down my soul. <laughs> well, I'm done cleaning, so I guess it's time to go home. Question mark. Where's my phone? I remember looking at the Daily Portal Z during break, so I can't have left it at home. We had chemistry lab today, right? Maybe I left it in there. The door is opened. Good. There it is! Sitting right on the bench I worked at. Sorry, were you lonely? Come on, let's head home. I don't talk to my phone like that. You're kind of a weird human. Ah! I bumped into... Uh, the doctor. Doctor? You again. Has your life no purpose aside from meddling with me? No, I... What is he even doing here? He came out of the chemistry prep room, right? Alone after school in the lab. What were you doing? Um, I left something behind. Did you see anything? Huh? I'm asking if you saw anything. What are you... What is he talking about? Would it be a problem had I seen something? Very well. May I ask a favor of you, Miss Motion? Yes, what is it? Could you bring me the files from the prep room, the black ones on the desk? Isn't the prep room right there? They are. Somewhat heavy for me. But I'm sure you will have no problem with them. Would you mind? No, no sir. I'm not sure I could get away with saying no. I'll just have to do as he says. <laughs> files, files, which one? I don't see anything like what he asked me for. <gasps> but wait! I'm locked in? Doctor! Doctor, let me out! What are you doing? Let me out! Brute, villain, fluffy heretic! No reply. The building's going to be locked soon. I didn't tell anyone I was coming here. Wow, you have your phone. Somebody help me. The doctor left me in here. Locked me in here. Why did he do that? There's no reason to unless he thinks I saw something I shouldn't have. This must be his way of shutting me up or removing the evidence. Probably it. 
I'm in despair. The evil doctor who will probably be coming back with a cleaver or something has left me in despair. I'm not sure I can make it out of the window, but I have to get out of here quickly. How can I? Footsteps. Coming closer. I have to hide, but but there's nowhere to hide in here. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please don't. Huh? What are you doing here, Motion? The, the school is closed already. Mr. Nanaki, I thought I heard noises coming up here. Were you banging on the door, Motion? That's not good. The door is in a punching bag. I think I can see a halo around his head. I can practically hear angels. <laughs> alive! I'm alive! <laughs> Sir, I, I... Is there something dangerous? There are some dangerous things in here, so don't come in without asking, okay? I didn't come in on my own accord. The doctor... That's right. I asked her, too. You did? Indeed. I am truly sorry. I completely I completely forgot I'd asked her to get something, and I locked her in there and walked off. You locked the door as soon as I walked in here. Who are you? Clive Waring? I don't know who that is. Is that it? Well, then. The whole thing stinks of ill-doing, Mr. Nanaki. But the doctor said it was an accident. I think it might be best if you went home as soon as possible this time of year motion. It gets dark so quickly. That is true. I wanted to leave early, but now all this happened. Well, then I, I'll head home now. Stay safe. We'll have a career. We'll have a career plan survey tomorrow. So don't forget to print out. Don't forget the printout earlier from today. From earlier today. Oh my god, I can't read. Motion is a very honest, nice girl, isn't she? Though she is a little bit restless. I completely agree. Anyway, I shall excuse myself now. Goodbye, doctor. Yes. That was a little sloppy. You failed to pay sufficient attention to your surroundings. That sort of thing will be the death of you, you know. Just kidding. Accidents like that happen to everyone and you remember to come out. You remember to come let her out at, in the end. Don't worry about it. Yes. Thank you, professor. Ooh, the professor is kind of fishy. We get our finals back together. Uh, back today? What the heck? Between midterms and practice exams, this whole semester has been nothing but tests. Motion! Sir! You ranked top of the year this time. Well done! Woohoo! What? what? Yep. Take that! She beat you by two points, Shidogane. Oh well. Grr! Sakiya's glaring daggers at me again. How nostalgic. Anyway, my hard work paid off. Yippee! The sun! Its majestic brilliance sweeps across the land, lighting it into incandescent glory. It's the first day of the new year. Looks like I'm alive to enjoy it. It's a little cold out, but it's calming the sun is warm. I think I'll go visit the shrine. There are lots of birds here already. Must be nice to have a warm winter plumage. Maybe I should borrow some from the some birdie. I think I'll buy an amulet and go home. Aww! Hen! Happy New Year! Here's to many happy returns, right? What are you doing here, Rita? Exactly what it looks like. I'm working here today and tomorrow. Oh, looks good on you. You came here to buy an amulet, right? Which one would you like? Um, I like one for... Conquest. I will take over the world from the shadows. Wait, rule the world from the shadows? Oh, what is that what it was? Here you go. Thanks, Rita. Are you here all day today? Yep. The first day is always busy. Oh well. I was going to ask if you wanted to get lunch together, but sorry, and maybe some other time? Since you're here, why not go get a fortune? They're next to the main building over there. Okay, thanks. See you, Rita. Hmm. Mr. Nanaki, Happy New Year! Oh, hello, Motion. Happy New Year. Did you get a fortune, sir? Yes, unfortunately, I seem to have drawn the, the chicken of ill omen. Why don't you take one? I will! Hmm. Which one should I take? This one! Bob White Blessing. I don't know what that means. Good! You got a better one than I did. I think this will be a good year for you, Motion. Thank you, sir! Happy New Year, everyone! I hope you all had good vacations. I hibernated. What a shocker. You're still hibernating! Sir, wake up! Oh, um, I've said this before, but your junior year will be over before you know it. Let's enjoy this time while it lasts. 
There's nothing special this semester. Nothing to worry about. Well, second semester ended really fast. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Since this is the end of the second semester, I will end it here. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!